Round one, we're going to start with the magic ring. I use the double magic ring technique. You can find that introduction if you are not familiar with it. We'll chain three, which counts as a double crochet and make 11 double crochet into the ring. One, two, So 11 double crochet with our starting chain three counts as 12. We will join to our starting stitch and go ahead and tighten the ring. 12 double crochet for round one. Round two, we will chain one, which does not count as a stitch. We will single crochet twice in every stitch. So two single crochet in each stitch around. So that was two in the first stitch, two in the second. So continue that in each stitch, two single crochet all the way around, joining to our starting stitch and fastening off. 24 single crochet. Round three, we're using color B. We're going to start with the standing stitch. If you're unfamiliar or uncomfortable with the standing stitch, you can join your yarn with a slip stitch and make the appropriate chains. So we're gonna use back post double crochet. So around any of the stitches, we yarn over, insert our hook from the back, around the post of the stitch to pull up our first loop, yarn over, pull through two and two again for a back post double crochet. And we'll work a back post double crochet around the next stitch as well. Chain one, and we'll repeat that all the way around. Back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. Chain one. have worked the 24 back post double crochet around with the chain one after every second back post stitch, we will join to our starting stitch and fasten off. So 24 back post double and 12 chain one. Round four using color C. We will start in any of those chain one spaces with a standing double crochet. And like I said, any of these standing stitches, you can join with a slip stitch and chain if you prefer. So double crochet in the chain one space, double crochet in the double crochet. Front post double, so yarn over, and we're working around that same double that we just worked into. So the hook goes from the front around the back, out to the front again. Pull up a loop and finish a double crochet. And front post double around the next. So we'll repeat that around, but double crochet in the chain space, double crochet in the double crochet. Front post double around that next stitch, or the same stitch we just worked in rather, and front post double around the next. So you can continue that all the way around, joining to our starting stitch, but do not fasten off. To my way around, we want to place some stitch markers. So we made 48 stitches this round. Our last stitch, the 48th stitch, we want to put a marker around. We want to mark the eighth stitch, the 16th stitch, and the 32nd stitch. So 8, 16, 32nd, and the 48th stitch. So continuing with the same color for round five, we will chain one, which doesn't count as a stitch. We want to front post single around the next stitch. That's the stitch just after the marker. So it's the first stitch of last round. We'll make a front post single crochet. 
front post double around the next stitch. Front post treble around each of the next two stitches. So that's yarn over twice before inserting hook around the back of the post. So in the next stitch, we'll work a treble. So not a post stitch, but in the top of the stitch, we'll work a treble. And then around the same stitch, we'll work a front post double treble. So that's a yarn over three times. Insert from the front around the post of the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, four times for that front post double treble. And then we'll work a front post double treble around each of the next two stitches. So the yarn over three times, pull through two, four times. We'll work a treble in the next stitch. and a front post double treble around that same stitch. Should be the marked stitch. Front post double treble around each of the next three stitches. One, Two, three. We'll treble crochet in the next stitch and work a front post treble, not a double treble, front post treble. So treble, front post treble. We'll do a front post treble around the next stitch and a front post double around the next. Front post single around the next and it'll be the stitch just before that next marker. So front post single crochet. So at this point, we want to move this marker that was around the eighth stitch. So this is where we started. This is our 48 stitch marker. So our eighth stitch marker, we want to move it up between the stitches nine and 10 from this current round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we'll just move it up between those two stitches and that's the only stitch marker we're gonna move. We'll front post single around the next three stitches. One, two, and three front post single crochet. Front post double crochet around the next and front post treble around the next. We'll work a treble crochet in the next stitch, front post double treble around the same stitch. Front post double treble around the next three stitches. So 
that's two and three front post double treble. And we'll repeat that sequence again. So we want a treble in the next stitch. Front post double treble around the same stitch. Front post double treble around the next three. One. Two. And three front post double treble. Treble in the next stitch. Front post double treble around that same stitch. Front post double treble around each of the next six stitches. One, two, and this third one should be around the marked stitch. six, front post double treble, treble in the next stitch, front post double treble around the same stitch, front post double treble around each of the next three stitches. One, two, three, and we'll do that sequence again. Treble in the next stitch, front post double treble around the same stitch. Front post double treble around each of the next three stitches. Two and three. Front post double treble. Treble in the next stitch, front post treble around the same stitch, and front post double around the next stitch. Front post single around these last three stitches, one, two, and three, and this last one should be that marked stitch. You will join to the top of that starting front post single. We want to move the stitch marker, the 32nd one. So this is our last stitch, the 48th. The 32nd one, we want to just move up to the row we just finished.
Round six, we are only working in some of the stitches from round five. It is not a complete round. We will chain one, which doesn't count as a stitch. Round six, we will front post half double crochet around this first stitch, which is that single just past our last stitch. So front post half around the first two stitches of the previous round. Front post double around the next stitch. Double crochet in the next and front post treble around that same stitch. Front post double treble around each of the next five stitches. It's one. Two, three, four, and five. Front post double treble, which should be the stitch just before that marked space chain one, front post double treble in each of the next five stitches, that's two, four and five front post double treble. We want to move that marker up into the chain space that we made between the two groups of five front post double, five front post double trebles. Front post treble around the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch and front post treble around the same stitch. And then front post half double crochet around these next two stitches, around each of them, one and two front post half double crochet which should be just before that next marker and that's as far as we're going on this round we do not join to anything there will be ten front post double treble four front post half two front post double crochet two doubles two front post trebles and one chain one for 21 stitches Round seven, again, we will not be working a complete round and only working in some of the stitches. We will turn our work and work on the back side and chain one. I like to chain one before I turn. So chain one turn, which doesn't count as a stitch. We'll half double crochet in this first stitch. Back post half double crochet around the next two stitches. So yarn over in from the back. You want to be careful that you're under that third extra loop at the back. And back post half around one and two stitches. Back post treble around the next two stitches. One and 
to back post treble. Double crochet in this same stitch. Now just a reminder when we're working with the wrong side facing, the top of the stitch is over to the left and not in front of the post as when we're working the right side. So it's double crochet in that last stitch that we worked the post around. Back post double treble around the next five stitches. One. Two. Three. and five back post double treble we want to place a treble crochet in this marked chain one space and we'll move the marker up to this treble Back post double treble around each of the next five. Five back post double treble. We'll place a double crochet in the same stitch. Back post treble around each of the next two stitches. Back post half double crochet around the next two, one and two, and then back post half in the next stitch, which is that first stitch of the previous round. Okay, turn our work. 10 back post double treble, 4 back post treble, 4 back post half double crochet, 2 half double crochet, 2 double crochet, 1 treble for 23 stitches. So round eight, again, we're not making a complete round. We'll start with a chain one. I've already made mine. Front post double crochet around each of the first two stitches. So this last one we worked at the end of round the previous round we will place front post double crochet around it and the next stitch. Front post treble around the next stitch. And front post double treble around the next four. One. three, and four front post double trebles. We'll treble in 
the same stitch and again the top loops because we worked we flipped our work the top loops are just past the stitch so treble in that same stitch front post double treble around the next four stitches one two, three, and four, front post double treble. We'll treble in the same stitch that we just worked that last front post double treble. Front post double treble around the next stitch, which is the marked stitch, and we can remove the marker. Once we finish this double treble, we will place the marker in the top of this stitch we just completed. Treble in the same stitch. Front post double treble around the next four. It's two. Three. And four, front post double treble. Treble in that same stitch, front post double treble around each of the next four. Double trebles. It's two, three, and four. Front post treble around the next stitch and front post double around each of the last two stitches. Seventeen front post double treble, four front post double crochet, four trebles, two front post trebles for a total of 27 stitches. Round nine, this is our last round for the body of our guitar. We'll turn their work to work on the back side again and chain three. So I'm gonna do my chain three first, turn my work. So this chain three counts as a back post double crochet and we'll back post double crochet around, oops, back post double crochet around each of the next eight stitches. One, two, seven, and eight, back post double crochet, back post treble around each of the next nine stitches, one, two, 
two. That's four. And the fifth one is around the one with the marker and we will move that up. Six. Eight and nine back post treble crochet. Back post double around the next nine. One, two. Eight, and nine, back post double crochet. So it'll be a total of 18 back post double crochet and nine back post trebles for a total of 27 stitches. And we can go ahead and fasten off. Round 10, we will be working into this round two stitches. We want to find the stitch, I've already marked it, that is below our marker. So the round three back post double crochet, we want to mark that stitch. We are going to start in the round two, we're working in between the stitches and the spaces in between. So you can see the space easier in round three, but between the round two stitches. So not this first space before, but this second one. So in between the round two stitches, so I'm inserting there and my hook comes out that space between round three. So we can attach yarn with a slip stitch and chain three for the first double crochet. I'm going to yarn over and work a standing double crochet as my first joining stitch. So one double crochet and we'll add a second one there. And then we want to place one double crochet in this next space between those next two stitches. So I'll fold my work back up. And you'll see how that's before our marked stitch. Then we'll do a double crochet just past that marked stitch in between the two stitches of round two. And then two double crochet in this next. So it kind of looks like we're working into the top of the stitches of round two as well. But if we think about it as a space in between, it's easier to identify in round three. That's a total of six stitches. So this is just before we work the full round 10, these are preparing our stem of the guitar. I'm gonna turn our work and chain three. So again, I like to make my chain three first and then turn. And I'm folding the guitar down. So we're just working on the stem right now. Around these next four stitches, we're going to work front post double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Front post double crochet. And then double crochet in that last stitch. So there should be six stitches, 
chain three and turn our work. So rows three, four, five, six, seven, and eight will all be works like this. Front post double around the next four stitches. Four front post double, double crochet in that chain three. And then you'll repeat this five more times to get you to row eight. So it is recommended that every second row that we put a marker in it so we can identify it. So row two, I've added a marker. Once you've worked row four, you can add another marker at the edge and so on. So, so I finished to the end of row eight and I have my stitch markers in row two, four, six, and eight. Row nine, we will chain three and turn. We're gonna start with an increase row. All right, the last two, chains two and three, count as a half double crochet. We're going to half double crochet in that first chain that we made of the chain three. Then we'll half double crochet in the next five stitches. So not this top loop there, that's what we just worked with our chain, so the next stitch, one, two, three, four, and five is in the top of that chain three. And then we need to add one more half double crochet and we're going to work into the side loops of our half double crochet we just made. So this one at the post and the one at the back We'll insert our hook through those two loops. So it's hard to see with the dark color, but there's the two loops, the front and the back post loops to pull up a loop and complete the half double crochet. So there should be eight stitches on this row nine. Row 10, we will chain three and turn our work. The chain three counts as a double crochet. We'll double crochet in this next stitch. Chain one, skip one stitch, double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in each of the next two. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in each of the next two. So the last one is the top of that chain that we made last row. So two doubles of space, two doubles of space, two doubles for row 10. Chain one, which doesn't count as a stitch, turn our work. Single crochet in every stitch and chain. So in these first two stitches, we're placing a single crochet and in the chain space. In the two stitches and in the chain space and in these last two stitches. So eight single crochet. For rows 12 to 15, we're going to repeat row 10 and 11 twice. So you can go ahead and work those four rows, a repeat of these last two twice. Row 16, chain three, turn our work. The chain three counts as a double crochet. We'll double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Two. Six. 
and seven double crochet plus our chain three, which gives us eight double crochet for row 16. We can fasten off. Okay, now this starting thread here, you'll want to make sure that you sew in the end across the back of the neck of the guitar. Now the written pattern includes a great diagram for helping to understand the parts of the guitar and how the layout will be. So you can refer to that. I will also help you with that. So this section here is the lower body, the upper body, and this is the head and the neck of the guitar. So the head is up here and the neck. We're going to be working the rest of the square around this guitar and it will be on a diagonal something like this. The instructions are given for the background to be similar to this square here using the color D a lot. You can make it as colorful as you wish and here's an example here um, and that's entirely up to you. I will be following as the written pattern. So the part we worked, all these rows of the head and the neck of the guitar are referred to as round 10. So now as we start to work the background, that's the start of round 11. We are going to work with color D if you're following the color seam of the written pattern. We're going to be working our stitches around where these, the places where the rounds join. So you can look at this diagram here. If that makes sense, I'll try to show that as clearly as well. So we're working in the round ends. We have round six, seven, eight, nine, and where those blue lines are is that little connection sort of between the stitches of the one row and the stitches of the next row. So looking at the lower part of our guitar, where round nine stitches join with round eight. So for me, it's these kind of loops right here. We are going to join with a standing back post single crochet and around this loop to make a back post single crochet. Then we'll do a back post two double crochet around the join, the next join between row seven and eight joined together. So one back post double, two back post double around that join. And then we'll work two trebles around the next join. So in the written pattern, these are referred to clusters as they're worked around the same stitch, but they're not a typical cluster where we don't finish the stitch. So they're two complete stitches. And then we'll find the marked stitch and we're going to work three back post double treble around that stitch. So it's a little bit tr tricky working your hook around because you don't want to grab the tops of the previous row stitches on the back. So one front post double treble around the marked stitch my hook I'm just inserting on top of where I worked the previous stitch when I'm working around the same post of a stitch. Two back post double treble and the third back post double treble. We're going to skip two stitches and around the next stitch we will work two back post double crochet, chain one, skip two stitches and back post single around the next, chain five, Skip five stitches, one, two, three, four, five, back post, single around the next, chain two, skip one stitch, back post half double crochet around the next, chain two, skip two stitches, 
Now we're going to be working behind the stem and at the same time attaching onto the back of the stem to connect these two pieces together. So for now, I'll just lay the stem out of the way so you can see we're going to make what is referred to as a back post treble U-join. So we're going to start the back post treble. So wrap the yarn twice around the hook. We skip two stitches, insert from the back around the post, pick up a yarn. Yarn over, pull through two twice, two loops on the hook. And then we want to find the stem of the guitar. And this is why we've marked our rows. We want to find row four. So my first marker was row two. Row four is that marker. So looking on the back of that, we want to find the second stitch and it's the loops of that stitch are just over in before the stitch. We're going to insert our hook in the back loop of the top of the second stitch of row four. Then we yarn over, pull the yarn through that loop and through the two loops on our hook to complete that back post treble and connect to the back of the stem at the same time. So we'll chain one, we're going to work another back post treble and this one will be around the marked stitch. So again, we will pull through two twice, leaving two loops on our hook. And then in that same row on the back of the stem or the back of the neck of the guitar, we'll skip a stitch and in the next stitch in that back loop, insert our hook, pull the yarn through and through the two on our hook. chain one, skip one, and one more back post treble, leaving two loops on the hook, and then in the sixth stitch of that same row, so that last stitch, insert in that back loop, pull it through and through the two on the hook. So we've completed three back post trebles with a chain one in between, and connected them all to the back part of the neck of the guitar. Chain two, skip two stitches, back post half around the next. Chain two, Skip one stitch, back post single around the next stitch, chain five, skip five stitches, and then we will work a back post single around the next, chain one, skip two stitches, and we'll work two back post double crochet around this next stitch. Then we'll skip those next two stitches and around the marked stitch, we will work those three back post double treble. Be careful not to work into the tops of the stitches from the previous row at the back there. So one back post double treble, two back post double treble, and three back post double treble. Then working in the ends of the row again, between row row seven and six, we're going to skip the one row, two back post treble, and then around the join of round seven and eight, to row seven and eight, we will do the two double crochet. And then between eight and nine, we will do that 
back post single crochet. Chain 9. We're going to skip 9 stitches and work around the next stitch, which will actually be the 4th stitch before this next mark stitch. We'll make a back post single, chain 2, skip 2 stitches and we'll work a back post treble around to the next, which should be the stitch just before the marked stitch. Chain 2, skip the marked stitch and we'll back post treble around the next. Chain 2, skip 2 stitches, back post single around the next. Chain 9, and we'll join to our starting back post single crochet with a single crochet. And then you can refer to the written pattern for the individual stitch counts. The total stitch count for this round is 45 stitches. Do not cut the yarn. So the single crochet we closed with last round will not be counted in this round, but it acts as the first stitch of this round. We'll single crochet in the next stitch and double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three double crochet. Treble in the next stitch, which should be the first of the double trebles. And then double treble in the next stitch. And treble in the next. So in those double treble group of three, we have a treble, a double treble, and a treble. We'll double crochet in the next two stitches. And single crochet in this chain space. Single crochet in the next stitch, chain five. We're going to skip these four stitches on the guitar body and working in front of this chain, we want to make a back post single around that last stitch that we skipped last round. So last round we skipped five stitches, so around that fifth skip, skipped stitch, working in front of the chain from last round, we work a bubble, back post single crochet. Chain two. We'll skip this next stitch on round 11 and the chain space. And front post single around that back post half double crochet. Chain three. We'll skip. We'll skip this chain space. We want to work a double crochet into that treble that we worked. Treble in the chain space. Now we want to find in row six. So we had row two, the first marker. Row four, the second marker. Row six is this third marker. On the back side, 
we want to find the third stitch, one, two, three, and the back loop of that stitch. We'll yarn over, pull through that stitch and the one on our loop. So it's a chain one, but connected to that. So it's basically working a slip stitch through that stitch. So we'll skip this next treble, treble in the chain one space, and double crochet in that last treble behind the guitar neck. Chain three, we'll skip the chain space, work that front post single around that front post half double crochet or the back post half double crochet rather. Chain three, skip two stitches in the guitar body. Back post single around the neck. So it's the first of the five skipped stitches from last round. Chain five, skip four stitches and we want to single crochet in that back post single from last round. Single crochet in the chain space, double crochet in the next two stitches. Treble in the next, which is the first of that set of three double treble. Double treble in the next stitch. And treble in the next. We'll double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Single crochet in the next, and single crochet in that back post single. Chain one, we're gonna skip the next stitch, which is that first skip stitch from uh, the guitar body, and back post single around those next eight skip stitches from last round. One, two, now I have an end here, I wanna get out of the way for you, there we go. So one, two, three, seven and eight back post single crochet. Chain one, we'll make a front post single around this next stitch. In this next stitch, the start of the skipped ones from last round, we are going to make a back post double crochet then a back post treble in the next stitch single crochet back on round 11 in that back post treble. And then we're going to work um, two double treble stitches on this marked stitch of the guitar body. So yarn over three times. They're going to be back post 
So two back post double trebles around that marked stitch of the guitar body. Back on round 11, we'll single crochet in that next back post treble. Back post treble. Around this next skipped stitch in the guitar body. And back post double around the next stitch. Then back on round 11, front post single around the back post single, chain one. Then coming back to the guitar body on these skip stitches, we'll back post a single around the next eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight back post singles. Chain one. We're going to skip this last stitch on the guitar body and join to the single crochet that we finished the round last round. We're going to fasten off as we need to start in a new place for next round. There's a total of 60 stitches this round and again you can refer to the written pattern to have the breakdown of how many of each type of stitch and just to show you the back side here. Round 13, continuing with color D or changing up your color if you want to be more colorful. We want to start in this double treble that we worked in that first set of three double treble from round 11. So in that double treble from round 12, in the center of the three double treble from round 11. We will start with a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. And this will be our first corner for our square. We'll double crochet in the next five stitches. Two, three, and five double crochet. So we want to double crochet in these chain spaces. We want to make sure we work and close the round 12 chain space and insert our hook under the round 11 chain space to make that double crochet. Then we'll work a back post double around these next four stitches on the guitar body. One, two, three, four, and double crochet around both of those chains from round 11 and 12. Single crochet in this next stitch. And then in this next stitch from round 11, which is kind of hidden underneath the chain from round 12, we want to place a half double crochet in there so we insert our hook, but the hook needs to go under that chain from round 12 as well. Back post double crochet around the stitch on the guitar body, that last skipped stitch or that unworked one. 
single crochet on round 12, that front post single. We'll back post treble around these last two stitches before the neck of the guitar. Worked in front of the chains. We're going to work in this next double crochet. Place a single crochet, but we also want to, so in this first stitch of row six on the neck, we want to grab a loop on the back and insert into this next double crochet on row 12. And we're going to make a single crochet. So we yarn over and pull through the loops of the stitch, the loop on the back, and the loop on our hook. Then we'll double crochet in that next stitch on the back. In this next chain one space that looks like a slip stitch, we are going to make a double crochet, but we're also going to join to the third and fourth stitches of this row six. So we yarn over and then we want to insert in the loop of that back loop of the third stitch of row six and then into that chain space. Pull the yarn through and then finish the double crochet. We will chain two, yarn over, pick up the loop of the next stitch and then go back into that same chain space. and finish the double crochet, which creates another corner. Then we'll double crochet in this next treble. Then we'll single crochet in this next stitch but just pick up the loop and then we want to insert in the last stitch of row six. Yarn over, pull through that loop and the two on the hook to complete that join. Then we want to make a back post treble around these next two stitches on the guitar body, working in front of the chains at, at the back. Okay, and so I left these chains free while I worked at these back post treble. And back. <clears throat> Back on this previous round, we will single crochet in that next stitch. Back post double around this next one on the guitar body. Then we want to make a half double crochet in that round 11 stitch, which is hidden. So moving that chain out of that way, finding the top of the stitch to place a half double crochet in there. Want to place a half double crochet in there and then under that chain space. So that chain is enclosed in our half double crochet. Single crochet in this next stitch. and double crochet in both of these chain spaces from rounds 11 and 12. Back post double around these next four stitches on the guitar body. One, two, three, four, 
double crochet around both of those chains again. We'll double crochet in these next five stitches. One, two. four and five and then in this double treble that's in the center double treble of round 11 we will work double crochet chain two double crochet for our third corner Double crochet in the next five stitches, two, three, and five double crochet, half double crochet in the next stitch. We'll skip this chain space, single crochet in the next eight stitches. It's two, three, seven, and eight, single crochet. Skip the chain space, single crochet in the next two stitches half double crochet in the next, double crochet in each of the next two stitches, and then we want to work in between these next two back post double treble, so we'll not in the stitch but in between the two stitches make a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet for our last corner made. Then we weren't, we will skip over this double treble. Double crochet in these next two stitches. Half double crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet in the next. We want a single crochet in this chain space. Single crochet in each of the next eight. One, two, seven, and eight. Single crochet. We'll skip this chain space, half double crochet in this next stitch, double crochet in the next five, one, two, four, and five, and then ready to join to our starting stitch with a slip stitch to end this round. So we started squaring this off nicely now that we have our four corners. Each side will have 21 stitches and a chain two in the corner. Round 14 continues with the same color, but we will only be working two sides of the square. You can switch colors, of course, if you wish. If you're using the same color, we will slip stitch into that corner. If you're joining with a new color, you will join in that corner space. We can chain three, which counts as a double crochet. 
and we'll double crochet in each of the next 20 stitches. Two, three, So 20 stitches will take us behind that neck. We're going to double crochet in this next stitch, leaving two loops on the hook, and we will do a U-join in the next stitch, or in the second stitch from row eight in the guitar neck. So row eight is my next marker. One and two. I'm just going to grab one of the loops on the back of this, yarn over, pull through, and through the two loops left on the hook. In the corner space, we will make a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. double crochet in that next stitch, leaving the two loops, and then skipping a stitch, and in the fourth stitch from row eight, pick up a loop, yarn over, and pull through that loop and the two on our hook, and then double crochet in these next 20 stitches. One, two, three. So that's 20 double crochet after our join, and then double crochet in that corner space and fasten off. So two sides, 23 double crochet each side with that chain two in the corner. For round 15, we want to rotate the square. So our end of the round is on this top corner. So to start, we'll be working in these round 13 stitches. So we're going to make a front post half double crochet around the post of this last stitch of round 14. Half double crochet in this corner chain space. half double crochet in each of the next 21 stitches. Three, four. So 21 half double crochet. In the corner chain two space, we will make a half double crochet, chain two, and a half double crochet. Half double crochet in each of these next 21 space, sorry, in each of the next 21 stitches, being careful to get that first stitch after the corner. So 21 half double crochet down this side. So 21 half double crochet, which takes us to that corner space where we started last round. So we'll half double crochet into this chain space and then around the post of this first double crochet of round 14, we will make a half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet for our new corner. Sorry, double crochet, just the second stitch. Then we'll double crochet in these next 22 stitches. It's two, three. No, 22 double crochet takes you just before that next corner behind the neck of the guitar. In that corner space, we will make a double crochet, leaving two loops on the hook. We're going to join to the top or to the row nine. So that is the top of that stitch is the one we skipped in row 10. So we find the top of the 
that skip stitch, put our hook through, pull the yarn through that loop and the two on our hook. Chain two, double crochet back in that corner space again, leaving two loops on our hook, and then finding that next skip stitch to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through that loop and the two on our hook. And then moving the neck out of the way, finding that very first stitch past the corner, we are now going to double crochet in the next 22 stitches. Two, three, To double crochet takes us close to that starting spot. We are going to make a double crochet around the post, same spot as we did for our starting stitch of this round. And then we'll join with a half double crochet in our starting half double crochet, and that counts as a chain two space. To complete our round. And do not fasten off. There will be a total of 40, 24 stitches each side plus a chain 2 space in the corners. So for round 16, we're going to flip to the back side. So I'm going to do my chain first, chain three, and flip. We're going to just be working two sides again, but working from the wrong side. Now I always leave my ends when I'm working a video, um, just in case I need to go back and correct something. So you will see my ends as we work this wrong side. So we're going to work a back post double around this next stitch. So double crochet in the next stitch. So be careful these loops here belong to the first stitch. We find the next stitch to double crochet. Then back post double around this next stitch. Double crochet in the next. So continue that for 12 repeats. So I'm working my last repeat down the side here, and it's a little bit tricky. I need to do that back post double crochet just before the final stitch. Remember that final stitch was the connecting stitch too, so we have that extra loop visible, so we want to work the double crochet in that stitch as well. And then ready to work in the corner stitch. So we'll do a double crochet, again leaving two loops on our hook, finding our guitar head, row 10, so that's the first row where we had these spaces in it. And we're going to join to these two center stitches, the fourth and the fifth stitch. Okay, so we're just going to find a loop on the back here. So you're going to have to have your working loop higher. Insert your hook at the top of that fourth stitch, pull the loop through and through the two on our hook. Chain two. Come back down in that space, work a double crochet until two loops are left. The working yarn up a bit higher and find a loop at the top of this next, the fourth stitch, fifth stitch. Pull the loop through and two on our hook to complete those two joins and that corner behind the neck. Now working down this next side, we'll start with a double crochet in this next stitch, back post, double around the next. Double 
double crochet in the next, back post double around the next. Always being careful not to work into the stitch that we just completed the back post stitch around. Once you've worked down the side of the 12th repeat, that last back post double crochet is around the final stitch just before the chain two of the corner. We will double crochet in that chain two of the corner and if you want to change color, you will fasten off. Twenty-six stitches each side, chain two in the corner space and remember we just worked those two sides. If you're continuing with the same color you will chain three and continue with the right side facing again. I'm going to join um, a new color with a standing double crochet in this last double crochet of last round. So double crochet or chain three in that first stitch to start round 17. We'll double crochet in the next 24 stitches. One, two, I decided to change colors so I've switched to white for this round so it is still round 17. I've worked my 24 double crochet. We're going to double crochet in the last stitch of the side before the corner space, pulling up, leaving two loops on the hook and we'll do the U-join with the first stitch of row 13. Now unfortunately the video was lost for this next part so I will just tell you that after we've made that connection we will work a double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the corner chain space, double crochet in the next stitch connecting to the seventh stitch from row 14 in the guitar head and then double crochet down the side in the next 24 stitches, work a double crochet, chain two, half double crochet around the chain three of round 16. So work a double crochet around this chain three that we started last round with. And this is going to be forming our corner stitches. So double crochet, chain two, and then half double crochet around that same corner chain three. And then we want to half double crochet in this round 15 corner space. And then half double crochet in each of the next 24 stitches. Twenty-four half double crochet. In the corner space we'll place a half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet, and then half double crochet in each of these next 24 stitches, being careful to find that first stitch as well. Two, three, We'll half double crochet in this next chain two space, that's the round 15 corner space, and then half double crochet around the post of this end stitch of round 16. And then instead of chain two for this corner, we will join to our starting stitch with a half double crochet. Two, 
to form that last chain two corner space. There should be 27 stitches each side. Round 18, again, we will only work on these two sides of our square. So we're going to chain three, and then double crochet in each of these next 26 stitches. And the first one is the same stitch we joined that half double crochet closing of last round. So it should be a double crochet, not a half double. So we made the chain three and we want to work 26 double crochet. So one, two, three, So 26 double crochet takes you right to just before the head of the guitar. The next stitch will make a double crochet as well joining to the guitar. So we need to leave those two extra or those two loops left on the hook. And then round 15. So that's the round just above this round with those skip stitches. We will connect to the loop on the second stitch over. So I'm just finding one of these back loops here to insert my hook under, yarn over, pull through and through the two on your hook. So in this space here, we're going to make a double crochet and then chain one. We're going to make another chain, but before we do, we want to pick up a loop from the fourth stitch. So we use the second, third, the fourth stitch, just put my hook under a loop, and then yarn over, pull through that loop and the loop on my hook to make the joining chain one. And we'll chain one again, and put another double crochet in that corner space And then in the next double crochet, we will join again to the guitar. So leave the two extra or the two loops on your hook for that double crochet. And then in the sixth stitch, the fourth, skip a stitch. Here we go, the sixth stitch, pull the yarn through and through the two loops on your hook. And then we'll double crochet in each of the next 26 stitches. The one is a little bit hidden by that join from last round, so make sure you find it. Nope, that's the same one I worked in. So the first one is right there behind the guitar. Two. Four. Five. Twenty six double crochet and place a double crochet in this chain space. And of course, if you're changing yarns, you can fasten off. So, twenty nine double crochet on both of the sides. Round nineteen. We are going to turn our work to the back side and we want to start in that stitch, that last stitch of round 18. And with a chain three or a standing double crochet if you're starting with a new color. And we'll back post double around the next stitch. double crochet in the next and we'll do that 13 times. Back post double, double crochet in the next stitch. 
So 13 repeats of that back post double followed by a double crochet. We'll double crochet in the next two stitches. So we're going to double crochet in this first chain one, leaving two loops on the hook. Oops, I only grabbed one loop there. There we go. So leaving two loops on the hook, and then we want to join to this last row of the guitar, and we're going to join to the fifth stitch. One, two, three, four, five. And again, that back loop at the top Pull the loop through and through the two on the hook. Chain two. And then we'll skip that joining chain and in that next chain, insert our hook, make a double crochet. Pull through two and then join to the sixth stitch, so the stitch just beside. Double crochet in this next stitch. And then when we start our repeats of double crochet in the next stitch and back post double around the next. And we'll do that 13 times, double crochet in the stitch, back post double around the next. So 13 times down the side. And I'll meet you at that point. After the 13 repeats, we'll have one stitch left so we will double crochet in there and double crochet in the next stitch which is that chain three from the beginning of the previous round and you can fasten off if you wish Not. There should be 30 stitches each side. So we want to make sure we fasten off even if we're continuing with the same color as we're starting in a different spot. So round 20, right side facing starting in this bottom corner at the base of the guitar. We'll start with a standing double crochet, or you can join with a slip stitch in chain three if you prefer. Chain two, double crochet in the same corner space. We'll skip this first stitch, double crochet in each of the next 27 stitches. So 27 double crochet. We'll place two double crochet around this chain at the end of round 18. So we'll double crochet around the post of this last stitch from the previous round and it's acting as our corner chain space. So two double crochet around the post, chain two, and then we'll work two more double crochet in that same space or around that same stitch. Then we'll double crochet in these next 27 stitches. Two, three, so 27 double crochet. There should be one stitch left before the corner space. We will double crochet in that stitch, leaving the two loops on the hook and then joining to this top corner of the guitar. 
yarn over through that loop and both on the hook. In the corner space, we'll make two double crochet. One, two, chain two, and two more double crochet in that same corner space. Double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. We'll make a double crochet in the next, leaving the two loops on the hook, picking up the corner, top corner of the guitar, pulling the yarn through and through the two on the hook. So now we have secured the entire guitar. And then double crochet in each of the next 25 stitches. That's three. So that's the 25 stitches. Then we're going to make our new corner stitches and it's worked around this end stitch of the previous row. You may have a chain there. I had started with a standing double crochet, so mine is a double crochet, but you could have a chain three there. So we'll work a double crochet around the post of that stitch chain two and another double crochet around that same stitch to form our new corner. Two double crochet around the post of the end stitch of the next row and two double crochet in that corner space there. Skip this first stitch and double crochet in each of the next 26 stitches. That's three. So 26 double crochet, that will be in that last stitch of the row, joining to our starting stitch to end this round and fastening off. So each side should have 32 stitches and there'll be the chain two spaces in the corners. Round 21, I'm using a different color and we're going to start in this top left corner at um, where the stem and the head of our guitar is. So in that corner space, we will make two double crochet chain two, two double crochet. We're going to make back post double crochet around each of the stitches down the side. So back post, double crochet down all stitches of every side, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in the corners. You can work your way all the way around, joining to our starting stitch. So each side should have 32 back post double crochet and four double crochet with the chain twos in the corner. You can fasten off if you wish to do the next round in another color and then you could start in a different corner. I'm continuing with my same color so I'm slip stitching into the corner space and we will start with a chain three or a standing double crochet. Work another double crochet in the same space chain two, two more double crochet. And this is a repeat of round 21. So we're going to back post double crochet around each of the stitches again. So back post double around each stitch down the side. So that'll be 36 back post double crochet. And in the corner, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Joining to our starting stitch and fastening off if you wish.
Round 23, if you're continuing with the same color, you would chain one from where, from where you left off, which would count as a single crochet, single crochet in the next stitch, and then work your corner stitches. I'm changing color, so I'm starting in a different color, and I'm going to start So I want to start in a stitch two stitches before the corner space. So I'm going to make a single crochet and in the next stitch and then work the corner of single crochet, chain two and single crochet. Then you'll single crochet in each of the stitches down each side and the corner stitches single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Now you do want to measure your square if it's a little bit small. You could use larger stitches, half double crochet or double crochet. If you find it too large, you could redo the last, the previous round, round 22 with half double crochet or single crochet if you prefer um, to match your size for your other squares. So single crochet in each stitch around, single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the corners. Once you've worked your way around, you will join to our starting stitch and fasten off. Each side should have 42 single crochet and chain two space in the corner. So this completes our square. There is some extra decoration you can do if you wish. But first you may want to make sure you have removed all of the stitch markers if you haven't done that already. So you can see on the designer's square here how she added the base for the strings to attach to and then ran the strings up the guitar to show the guitar strings. So if you wish to complete the authentic look of a guitar by adding in those strings, there's a fantastic written tutorial in the pattern for you to follow for that. I am leaving mine plain and I won't be showing that part on the video. So enjoy the music of life, love, and friendship.